Get ready. It's time for a well-deserved break, Pittsburgh, with Heather Abraham and David Highfield. From the KDKA TV studios, it's Pittsburgh Today Live. Oh, it's Wednesday. Are you feeling it? Yeah, we're, we're halfway through the work we week. We are, yeah. It's a and good thing. It's not just any Wednesday. It is a very special Wednesday. It's Ron Smiley's birthday. Yes, it is. And you know what? To celebrate, we want we want to thank Eden Park. And I love this graphic. Look at this. Happy birthday, Ron. <laughs> you like get one candle. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I need. Yeah. But Eaton Park, because it's Ron Smiley's birthday, <laughs> has given us all smiley face cookies. And so this we want to awesome. say thank you for that. <laughs> Wait, can uh, can I tell you how this all came about? Yeah. So when uh, Frizzy had a cookie, and it was for a good cause, it was for a charity, um, when Frizzy, the musician, got a smiley uh, cookie from Eaton Park, made for him yep. in his name with his logo, Ron goes, you know what makes the most sense? <laughs> I don't know, a Ron Smiley cookie? And so we reached out to Eaton Park. We wanted to get your face on a cookie, but I gave them no notice, Ron, like yeah, a day. That was the problem. Right. Yeah. Well, so we got know. regular Smiley cookies instead. Yeah. So thank you to Eaton Park for that. We We're going to raise cookie. some money soon. We are. Right. We're going to raise some money and use a Ron <laughs> Smiley cookie to do okay. it. Okay, that sounds like <laughs> a plan. Whatever. All right, hey, we have a game because we want to see how well we know Ron Smiley. So Ron has put topics in this cup. And oh we have to gosh. guess. I was like, why do you, whether, what's in the cup? <laughs> why do I have two mugs? <laughs> no, uh, Ron has put topics in this cup, and then we have to guess whether these things make Ron smile or make Ron frown. So, I've never seen Ron here frown. We go. I know, Ron doesn't frown. Gosh, Wait, they're I all stuck in I have short there. arms. Okay. You're just short, right. Heather. Which I'm like just <laughs> reading these. Okay. All right, are you going first? Uh, sure, I can go first. Okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Baggy pants. Does that make Ron Smiley <laughs> smile or frown? Uh, can I answer? Wait. Well, I think we could both answer. I'm going to say frown because we just discussed how much he loves wearing his skinny jeans. <laughs> I'm going to say frown too because I watch how he dresses. Yeah. Yes. And? <laughs> both of you guys are right. Okay. Yeah, we got one. We know Ron Smiley. Row machines. What? I'm going to say that rowing machine. Oh, well, I'm going to say this makes him smile because I know how much he likes to work out. I'm going to say smile too. You are both wrong. Oh, it's your <laughs> bike. It's your bike that you like. Right. I, I don't get a rowing machine. Like I, okay. I see it out there and I'm well, like, why? It, it builds up your upper body strength, right? There's a lot at work here on a rower, Ron. Yeah. But that's okay. okay. That's all right. Oh, yeah. Just don't get it. Okay. All right, we have another one. Uh, <laughs> Soft serve ice cream. <laughs> if you were watching yesterday, you know why we're laughing. Yes. Um, so I'm going to say he, well, I'm going to say he likes it, but overall, I'm going to say it's, no it's, it's a frown. It's, it's a frown. Yeah, it's, it's a, a frown. frown. No, it's ice cream. How can you be frowning on ice you cream? Can't go back. I'm so wait, so no, you're, no, you, I, you say it makes you smile? It, it does make me smile. I, now, if, you know, I mean, if, if you just have nothing, then soft serve ice cream is great. If I have a choice, though, I'm it's hard ice cream. Stuff. The real okay. stuff. Okay. The real okay. stuff. He's no, I'm glad you're able to proud. clarify your position on this <laughs> ice cream debate. I'm going to need some help with this next one because it just says, Paul, I don't know if you can zoom in on this, things that don't. <laughs> I'm going to say things that don't make Ron frown. Uh, that's <laughs> things that's that funny. don't. I don't know. Category? I, I, I have a feeling that when they are printing out <laughs> We're going to skip this one. Yeah. We're just going to no, skip that one. But no, probably would make you frown, you know. That's what I think. All right, let me go. Okay. <laughs> Next one is comic books. And I say this makes him smile. I say this makes him smile, too. You are both correct. Yes. We know him so well. All right. Let's see if we get this last one. All right. <laughs> veggies. Is it things that don't veggie? No. No, it's just, just veggies. Yeah, I don't know what happened to that other clip. That makes you smile veggies. because I, I agree. smell them every day in the break room. Every day. Your steamed veggies. I, I was about to say, you are correct, Heather. Uh, Heather d does not, you, she does not like my veggies in the morning when I'm warming them up with some fish. I will say he, it is a He well, fish in the microwave. That's, that's an that's office no-no. In a, in a workplace setting, even if you like fish, that's not... That is, for 30 is, seconds. This is coming from it's the guy. Get it a little warm. This is coming from David Highfield, 
who eats tuna, opens a can of tuna <laughs> in like the newsroom, and eats. See, so both of you. That's are, too far. Yeah, it's too far, right? <laughs> well, now, how is that farther than putting fish in a microwave rod? I, I think I'm less of an offender. You know, I, I'm, I'm sorry, David. We need to defend and, and support each other in this. You're right. You're right. So. Well, I, we I should come together. <laughs> <You're right>. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, this has become a pitting everybody against Heather Day instead of a Ron Smiley birthday. All right. But anyway, we want to wish you, Ron, the happiest of birthdays. Yes. Hopefully you will have a great day today and certainly great weather uh -huh. we have ordered up for you. And I you know what? It. As I wrote, Ron, on social media today, uh -huh. you are never short of good conversations. We always uh -huh. have fun. You are always smiling. Thank and you. you are Always complimenting other people. I try. So I try. yeah, you're, we appreciate your company. Keep the every negativity day. out of here, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's right. That's, That's the right. Thing. You are so days. positive, really. yeah. <laughs> and we appreciate that, Ron. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks Happy for birthday. You. All right. Not only is it Wednesday, and it is Ron Smiley's birthday, mm -hmm. it is also No Housework Day. This is a holiday, apparently. Find me up. So it is a day to put your feet up. You can just relax, spend time with your family. The vacuuming can wait. The dishes can sit in the, the sink. It doesn't matter. Can you do that? I can't do that. If there are dishes in the sink, I can't go to bed. It depends what kind of day I've had. There are days that I can do that. Most of the time it annoys me because I like, I like to not have something left undone. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, we but, call it the reset. Like we need a reset. Every morning when Frankie is home and right. Rocco's napping and the girls are at school, he does a clean of the first floor because that's like that's where we spend the majority mm -hmm. of our time. Sure. We call it the reset. Yeah, well that makes yeah. sense. You gotta just wipe it all away, <laughs> reset, and then it's a mess. And an then hour it'll later, become but, a mess yeah. later. <laughs> right. But that's that's not what's important. Mentally, yeah. I, and I think we should talk to life coach Marlene Boaz about, about this that. at some point. Yeah. Because I think mentally it is a reset for you. Yeah. But anyway, so no housework day made us think about how much time do you end up, do we all end up spending on laundry and dishes and cleaning? So oh. that is what makes up uh, our, our list today. This is going to be yeah. very sad. So list. overall, the average from this poll done by uh, one poll uh, is that people said uh, they spend five hours and 54 minutes a week on housework. That's and one of the most time consuming tasks, this would be them. Okay, number one on sweeping and dusting. C did I ever tell you my least favorite chore? Oh. Yes, cleaning the blinds. Dusting the all oh, those blinds. <laughs> no. Oh. Now, do you have the fuzzy duster thing yes, that you can get you in between? Yes, you have to dust them and then you have to wipe them down. Like then you have to get, you know, soapy water and clean them. It's very, it takes yeah. a lot well, of time. Well, that's why it's 50% of yeah. your cleaning time it. goes to that. Cleaning the bathroom, 48%. Gross. Laundry is 44%. This adds up to more than 100%. <laughs> I am going to admit something here. I, we often live out of laundry baskets. Yeah, I, I have done that. I too, think that most where, people do. Like, it, sometimes socks don't make it in the sock drawer. And, like, I, I, oh. they, they at least get made it up. But, like, sometimes they're on top of the dresser yeah. before, no. you know. I'm talking full on, like, we had three laundry baskets in my room. Just, <laughs> just pick it out just of the Just earlier this basket. week. Yeah. You know what? I don't think there's any crime in that. No. And I think during the pandemic, like one thing that made us clean up our house was when we would have people over. Yeah. Well, we haven't really had people over. Oh, so what's during the state of time. your residence right now? <laughs> Let me tell you. The high field. <laughs> yeah. I don't know when we've dusted under the piano last. <laughs> I, so I, fancy. I do, no, I do. I, I remember. <laughs> I don't know when we've adjusted under the piano last. Like that. I do remember <laughs> a, a while ago we had friends over and they were sitting on the couch and they said, "Oh, is the wood a different color under your piano?" And I said, no, it's just <laughs> hadn't dusted there. <laughs> It's just lighter so, from the dust, the yeah, layer of dust. Put a special. You know, we're yeah. not celebrating today because we actually celebrated on a different day, but it's weird that National Beer Day and no, National No Housework Day. Fall on the same day. Yeah, I'm thinking great minds were thinking about that. I think there was something with Putting that. Putting the two of those yeah. things together. All right, so we are going to take a break from uh, housework today, but it is still our spring fling week here on PTL, and so we're not going to do any spring cleaning per se, yeah. but we're talking to our favorite life coach, Marlene Boaz, about spring cleaning your emotions. I think this is so powerful. I and think it's important. I have to tell you, I'm really looking forward to Selena's report because mm -hmm. she is going to have have some spring makeup looks and I love this. I love makeup so much. It's so much fun. I know. <laughs> I'm so, glad. Yeah, I'm happy it, for you. I, I could spend I so can... much time in a makeup store and I know Selena feels the same way. Okay. Well, she's having a report a little bit later on. In fact, she's, she's actually having a kitchen. giggle with Ron right oh, now. Really? Oh, oh, there she is. Hi, right Selena. Over there. Okay. <laughs> That's coming up later in the show. <laughs> All right. We should tell you that Heather has barely 
been able to go on after the news that broke last was it last to, Friday? I don't even I, do you and, know how many text messages I got? I, well, about I this? and I saw it and I thought should I tell her or should I not tell her it's because awful. it's just terrible. And and so I saw it and I immediately thought you need to know. I didn't want to so, know. I could have gone on a little bit longer not knowing this. Okay. Here's what we're talking about. <sighs> Reggae John Page is <laughs> not going to be on Bridgerton. Yep. Not for season two. So Bridgerton, of course, is this hugely popular show on Netflix, and and Heather was really into this show <laughs> so much so she said, "You've got to watch it, David." I so I for watched you. it too, and uh, th this really was a romance that got a lot of people talking. It was very hot and heavy. It was so yes, much it was so hot and heavy yes. that we spoke to the intimacy coordinator who mm -hmm. was on set to help with the intimate scenes. And that actually became an SNL skit. They they had a lot of fun with this, but um, I just I love the series. I love the series. Ron says it's unwatchable. I disagree. Oh no, I think it's watchable. I think it's very watchable. He said it was cringeworthy. <laughs> I think it depends who you're watching with, maybe. Maybe that's and that could be part I don't of know. It. And the intimacy coach, she was a riot. She was actually a lot She's of fun. She's so interesting. And talked about like how they make all this work. Yeah. But so coming out in a tweet, if you follow Bridgerton on Twitter, this is what Lady Whistledown, who is the narrator of the show. Yeah. So, so I guess that's we what still you don't call know her, right? really. I I think most of us have a guess about who it is. Who it is, but we don't really. But we know. don't really know. So she wrote, "We bid adieu to," and you have to say his name because I'm going to. Reggae. Screw John Page. Okay, who so triumphantly played the Duke of Hastings. Daphne will remain a devoted wife. And no word on when season two will be coming well, out. And I wonder, I wonder if he will come, like if he'll show up in what, season three or in well, the later the seasons. Because you were explaining to me the premise of like the books. Well, is Marie, the Marie's in audio. Marie, were you the one that told me that he is not in the, the second book? Really? Yeah, he's not in the second book. Because it's about each book is about a different sibling falling in love, yes, right? Yeah. So he might turn up in maybe season three maybe. or season four. Yeah. Apparently, from what I've read, he knew going into this, this was going to be one season. Yeah, I how mean, could they? How no could one they alerted make us Heather fall Abraham. in love <laughs> with him and then take him away. Terrible. It's okay. You know what? I'm gonna guess he's gonna be in other things. He's a big star now. He Didn't is. he host Saturday Night Live? He did. That's what I just. Yeah, we were just talking. Oh, about. that's when they made a bit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just putting it together. Just now. connecting the dots here, live on TV. I need some caffeine. <laughs> all right. That's all the time we have right now. But we want to get on with the show because there's a lot more planned. And we have a question for you. Have you had breakfast yet? Well, coming up, Rainia is sharing a special breakfast dish with us. Find out, find out how to make this crowd pleaser as Rainia kicks off a month-long series of breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert recipes. And as we mentioned, Selena Pompiani is here with new makeup trends for a fresh look for spring, and it could be a preview of Selena's wedding day makeup. We'll have to watch to see. Plus, buckle up, baby. Mikey Hood takes us uh -oh. on a test drive of the all-new Ford Bronco. She will see what... The new ride can do. She looks good behind I the know, wheel of that car. Look Mikey ready looking to go. good. Thanks for being with us on this Wednesday, April 7th, 2021, Ron's birthday. We're so glad you're here to celebrate with us.